Next, connect the USB cable to the VESC and then to your computer. Then connect your battery. And proceed to turn it on. Now open BLDC tool. You have a window like this. Double click taskbar to resize. You should have VESC dash USB modem and now you can click connect. Click read configuration. If you have received a warning that your VESC has outdated firmware, proceed to the firmware tab. Click choose file. A warning will appear. Uploading firmware to the wrong hardware version will damage the VESC for sure. Make sure you choose the correct hardware version. This was demonstrated at the beginning of this video. Click on the location where your BLDC tool software was downloaded and there will be a firmware folder. There will be three folders within this folder, one for hardware 4.6 to 4.7, 4.8 and hardware 4.10 through to 4.12. Four point ten to four point one two is the latest firmware. If we tick click on this box or any one of the other boxes, there will be a file called VESC default. Do not upload any other files unless you understand what they do. Double click on this file. Now you can click upload. Now that it is completed, your VESC will restart, wait for it to reboot, and you can proceed to connect. Make sure that the red firmware version corresponds with the supported firmware version. And now you can continue to program your VESC.